Okay, hello. Picking up a weekly reading vlog from literally where I left the last one off. If you watched the end of my last vlog, which was my Sophie Lark taste test, then you'll know that this is the exact same outfit I was wearing at the end, so. Yes, okay. What am I reading this week? Well, I just got off my Sophie Lark kick, and I do want to go back to reading the rest of her books, like all of them. Like all of them. But in the meantime, before I get into the rest of the video, I just want to show you some products that I was sent really quick. These are from Zimp Optical, and they sent me two pairs of glasses. So first we have these, which I absolutely love. The Cat Eye Clear Rim. And then the other pair is a pair that I've been wearing to work, actually, quite often. And these are these tortoiseshell ones. I absolutely love them. They have blue light coating and they're just great for when I want to wear glasses and be fashionable. So if you look in the description below, these exact glasses will be linked as well as a discount code for Zimp Optical. So please check them out because I'm obsessed with these glasses. Today I started Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. This follows Xing Nin, who is a daughter of Chang'e. Um, who was banished to the moon when she took her husband's elixir of immortality and was thus punished for it by being banished to the moon. So now Xingming's magic flares and she is potentially going to be discovered by the Celestial Empress who has no idea that she exists. So she flees to the Celestial Empire. There she um, seizes an opportunity to train along the Emperor's son and she masters her magic and archery. And there may even be a passion flame between the two along the way. But what Shingen really wants at heart is to save her mother. And so this is going to be the beautiful journey. I literally am on page 63. I'm in love with the writing. It is so lyrical, magical, beautiful. Like it just, it just makes me feel alive. And so my plan. So this weekend I'm going to New York City to hang out with Maddie. So probably won't get much reading done. Um, however, after I finished Daughter of the Moon Goddess, my next goal is to read The Hating Game by Sally Thorne because we're going to watch the movie this weekend. And of course, I need to reread it before I watch the movie. Um, however, also, I'm taking the train to work now, which means I bring my Kindle with me. And I'm not going to read Daughter of the Moon Goddess on the train because then I can't like really annotate. Like, it's not convenient. The Kindle is convenient. So I will actually be concurrently starting Barbarians Taming, and this is the story of Maddie, <laughs> which is funny because I just mentioned Maddie IRL friend, who's also a booktube friend, and it's the ninth one, and I just put it on my TBR this month because I really, I like, I am committed to reading all of the Ice Planet Barbarian books, but I haven't read them in like a while, so... <laughs> I gotta at least read one this month and one next month. Okay, also I have to mention, um, I've been getting into web comics which are manhwas. So they're either like um, translated from Korean or Chinese and the app that I've been using is Manta to read Under the Oak Tree, which is originally in Korean and it was originally a web novel and is now a web comic and like, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It's about Maximilian who she basically had to marry this lowly knight she's the daughter of a duke and once he's married to her like her father sends him off on this campaign to kill this dragon and he's gone for three years after their wedding night and he comes back and people think that like oh like he's gonna divorce you and marry the princess because that's what the king wants and it's just like their, their love story starts with marriage and like it's so good. It's steamy. I actually heard that the web novel is steamier than the web comic, so I might need to read that to get my fill of Riften, who I now simp for. Um, but because I was like, now I'm obsessed, now I'm in my webcomic era, and I'll be reading a bunch of manhwas and stuff. Um, I just started one called The Maid and the Vampire, which is about this girl from our realm, and she gets like she dies and gets transported to this vampire realm and she basically ends up as his the Duke, the vampire duke's a maid and it's their love story and that one's already completed so i don't have to wait for you know waiting for chapters each time so i do want to count these on goodreads because they are like things that i'm reading not all of them are on there so i think the way that i am going to count them is like if they have like a season completed then and that season is on goodreads then i will like count it there otherwise I will just not count it until like the series is completed or if I just read a whole completed one I will count it there 
speaking of that, because I was on like my fantasy romance comic kick, I was like, well, I need to read Yona of the Dawn for my beloved hack. But like, I also think that this is kind of like a reverse harem. Like, I think they're like all kind of like into Yona and Yona is just like achieving her powers. But also um, there's this one moment that like made me scream, cry, throw up. Look at them. Like this manga has my heart. There's like 30 something volumes. I have up to volume 10. And like there's a lot of supply chain issues with mangas, especially more than books. So I want to look into getting the next few volumes and reading them because I just kind of like want to binge them at this point because I've been reading the series for a long time. And I want to go slow and savor them, but also like I want to read them all. I'm obsessed. I feel like the web comics are like a good thing for me because I've been as much as I've been wanting to get into manga it's like kind of hard because there's so many volumes and it's just like a big investment for something that takes a small amount of time like I can read a volume of manga very shortly and like they take up a lot of space so web comics are good because they are virtual so like I don't have to worry about spending the money and buying them and I haven't really found like I guess I could go to the library for manga um but I just don't really have like a branch near me that's like convenient to get to. Anyways, that was lots of rambling, but for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna chill and probably edit some and read Daughter of the Moon Goddess, but lots of good reading plans going on, lots of reading happening so far in 2022, so I'm happy with it. Um, the key to reading a lot of books is just to read smut because they're really fast to read or just read a lot of short things and sprinkle some long things in here and there. There you go. Hello, so these past two days I really have not read much of Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I'm on page 135 and I only read for one night. That was Monday and now it's Thursday. And I've been reading Ex-Planet Barbarians at work, like on my commute to work and at lunch. And I'm like 89% of the way through number nine. Like it's so easy to read, so quick to read. Like it's just what's been going on this week. However, I am conflicted because I got arcs for Twisted Hate by Anna Huang and River of Shadows, I think it's called, by Karina Haley. And I need to read both of them before the review date, the release date, because I'm on the arc teams, which I'm so excited for. But I'm like, do I just kind of try to just read a lot of Daughter of the Moon Goddess tonight and then start those like really soon? Or do I just kind of abandon Daughter of the Moon Goddess? But I like hate to just stop a book in the middle when I'm enjoying it. So I think between today and tomorrow, before I leave for my trip, I'm just gonna try and like read a lot of Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And then I will have time to read those two books before the release of them and write reviews. So I can still finish my January TBR. I can still finish it. I'm excited. So that is all. That's probably my little update for now. Like not too much else going on, but I'm getting very excited to go to New York City this weekend and see Maddie and see one of our favorite K-pop groups sing concert. Also, these are my new glasses. They're from Zimf Optical. They're going to be like featured in a video at some point. It might be up before this, but I love them. And I wear them in my everyday life. Hello, so it's, let's see. Friday afternoon, um, have not read any more of Daughter of the Moon Goddess. That didn't happen. Um, I just really wanted to come on here really quickly to open this package I got from Valentine PR, and I have no idea what it is. So I'm very excited. It's also very heavy. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, what is in here? Oh, okay. Dark House by Karina Halley. End of Day by Jewel E. Ann. Okay, this one's the heavy one. Oh, lit, I've been wanting this one. Okay, Beg For Me, The Merciless World Collection by Willow Winters. It's so, it's like gigantic. Oh my God, that's what was making the box so heavy. And then, ooh, what's this? All He'll Ever Be is a Beast, and then it's Beg For Me by Willow Winters. And it's a little notebook. How cute. It's like this, and then it's a pen that has this. Oh, very exciting. 
Thank you so much, Valentine PR, for this PR package. I got so many good books. I was not expecting this, so I'm very happy. Thank you, Valentine PR. As for the rest of the night, I will be taking little Gavin on a walk. I will be exercising. Uh, I have to pack because tomorrow I leave to hang out with Maddie. And then I will be reading Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I don't know if I'm going to bring it with me yet or just switch over to Kindle books and then start it back up on Tuesday. Um, but I want to read a decent chunk tonight. I can, I'm assuming Maddie and I are going to have time to read like when we hang out, but I, sometimes it's easier to just bring my Kindle, but if I just bring one book, not too big of a deal. Okay, bye. Hold it here. Okay. <laughs> it might stay. Actually, I think it would stay. Okay. Um, you may notice these are not my bookshelves. <laughs> Come into the frame. This is the owner of the bookshelves. I kind of just like found her on the streets of New York City and she's like, hey, I heard you like books. Come up to my apartment. <laughs> so here I am. Um, and apparently she, we're gonna hang out now, so. I like to abduct strangers from off the street <laughs> and show them my shelves just because I think it's really unique. Um, and then I like, you know, she got, she got me free coffee, so. Oh yeah, I did bring coffee because I'm just nice like them. Yeah, strangers and coffee is like. Yeah. Oh, she great. was like, I'll show you my shelves if you give me coffee. And I was like, okay. I'll show you my shelves. I'll, <laughs> show, like, you I'll show you mine. <laughs> so I just got here on the train this morning and I read Twisted Hate by Anna Huang, which Maddie just finished. And we literally just talked about it in her vlog, but like, enemies to benefits to lovers. Enemies with benefits to enemies to lovers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, really good banter, top tier angry sex, 40% of the way in, but like it's also, all of Anna's books have like this ongoing undertone of like a darkness with twists, so I'm interested to get to the twisted part of twisted hate, you know? Oh. Oh, oh does it make sense now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna, we're gonna go get bagels because if I'm in New York City, I need a freaking bagel. That's just. And I'm also just hungry. Yeah, that's just life. And I will eventually be getting pizza at some point this weekend. But we're here for a K-pop concert and other exciting things that are gonna happen. So stay tuned. Bye. Okay. It's dinner time. This is a Madison Mary original dinner. Pasta all day, every Pasta day. Pasta because we love carbs <clears throat> with alcohol because we love alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it's concert day. We're going to concert. Also, I got a tattoo yesterday. Oh yeah, we never did film when we came back. To be like, hey, yo, what's up? We did stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna t just stay in the back. Put your tattoo up. Ta da! Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Why did we zap? I wonder if you could hear that on the footage back. Okay, so okay. we're going to the A2's concert. Mm -hmm. We are about to leave. We are going to have a great time gonna go buy merch and eat food and ho out, ho out, ho out. Ho out. <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> So I'm back from my crazy weekend. I am now tatted up and I was just so exhausted yesterday when I got home and today was my first day back at work so I was also exhausted. And so I finished Twisted Hate by Anna Huang on the train and I have to write my review for that because I'm on the ARC team so I'm gonna be working on that now. But I literally just spent so much time cleaning up everything in my apartment and I like organized the whole desk and I just feel like pretty good about that right now and what I am going to be doing 
for the foreseeable yeah writing the review blah, blah blah okay so twisted hate by animal enemies to enemies with benefits to lovers i loved it the banter was top tier like the connection between the character was, was so good and i feel like anna really gets just like better and better with every book i was in love with it it was amazing and speaking of arcs i started another arc on my train ride today because i'm starting to take the subway to work and that is river of shadow by karina halley and this one is really cool because it's based off of finnish mythology which is like not very well known at least like i don't know that much about it as like it compared to like norse mythology or something like that and like it's very macabre and basically we follow hannah after her father dies she learns that he's like actually still alive in the land of the dead trying to make a deal with death and so she takes off with his her father's apprentice and to go and like get her father back from death essentially and it's really good so far like i am loving loving the setting and the characters and like it's just so cool for a novel set in a land of death so my plans oh i got to about 26 percent of that so far and so far it's really good it's supposed to be steamy and it's classified as a dark fantasy romance but not a dark romance so to finish my tbr for january it is january 26th i need to finish daughter of the moon goddess and electric idol this one's going to be the one that takes me the longest i also need to finish river of shadows because i uh, have an arc for that so like i need to get my review out before release with that being said i'm gonna spend some time writing my review right now and then dive back into this because i've kind of not read this for a week since i left i was on page 135 but the 135 pages that i read i loved and so i don't think i'm gonna have much time to read tonight because i am it's getting kind of late and i like did a bunch of other stuff that was super important to do um however i think i will have a lot more time tomorrow and this weekend it's supposed to snow so i'll be snowed in and i'll be able to finish my january tbr and i am just looking forward to reading and then setting a february tbr that is also attainable so that i can complete my tbr every month i would just love that that is my update for now Okay, hello, it's now Sunday. I just finished filming my February TBR and some updates on my reading. I just finished Daughter of the Moon Goddess yesterday and I loved it, it was just so beautiful. You can definitely tell that this is an adult fantasy in terms of like the pacing, like just a lot happens in these 500 pages. Um, so it's definitely like paced different than a YA and reads differently, but like I loved it. It was just so beautiful and gorgeous. And I felt like this one wrapped up really nicely, even though I know it's going to be a duology, I felt like this book could stand on its own. And so I'm interested to see like what's going to happen in the next book, but it was just beautiful. And I love Shingen's journey. It was amazing. Then the next book that I'm going to start is Electric Idol. Yes. Oh, I didn't even talk about, okay. I didn't talk about the fact that I finished River of Shadows by Karina Halley. And this is a dark fantasy romance about the god of death. And it's based on Finnish mythology. And this is about Hannah who goes into the underworld to rescue her father who is a shaman that went to the underworld to bargain with the god of death. And like, it was so good. I loved death and hannah together and like just it's very macabre and like just the atmosphere like a very good winter book and like i am so intrigued by like the system of the underworld and like what's going to happen with death and hannah because it ended on a huge cliffhanger and i also wasn't expecting it because the e-arc like counts all of the after content in like the percent count so like i was at 86 percent and it ended and i was like no but the next book is about to be out and like may i think which is kind of the upside with reading indies is that they are published pretty fast so you don't have to wait like a year to figure out what happens at the end of the cliffhanger but yeah it was a big cliffhanger and i'm very excited to continue on with this i think it's going to be a trilogy and like i've just been loving everything that karina halley writes i really need to read her royals next door book which is her first ever traditionally published book and i think she has another one coming out soon about a hollywood witch so big fan of the author um, yes, however, today I'm going to be like editing, doing some like TikTok stuff, and 
We're reading Electric Idol by Katie Robert. I'm so excited to start this because this is about Eros, who is the son of Aphrodite, and he is sent to kill Psyche. Um, and Psyche is a plus size character, and basically, like, she was nice to him, so he's like, I don't want to kill you, I'm gonna marry you instead. Love to see it. We love to see it. So I'm just obsessed with the series, obsessed with Katie Robert in general. Very excited to start this and read this and update you guys on my thoughts.